Hello students, you are welcome to our English lesson. Today is our same means of communication. Okay, let's start our lesson. Exercise 1. Look at the pictures, listen and repeat. Talk face to face. Talk face to face. Chat on social media. Chat on social media. Talk on my mobile. Talk on my mobile. Send an email. Send an email. Send a text message. Send a text message. Chat on Skype. Chat on Skype. Send a letter. Send a letter. Talk on a landline. Talk on a landline. Exercise 2. Use the phrases with often, sometimes and never to make sentences. For example, I often chat on social media. Getting the message across. Which ways do you talk to your friends and family? There are lots of different ways to communicate. You can communicate by speaking to people. And you can get your message across by writing. These days you can communicate with phones and computers. Let's take a look at different ways we can keep in touch with people today. Have video chats. If the person you want to communicate with is far away, why not have a video chat? You can see and hear the other person just like you're in the same room. A lot of people prefer to communicate through video chats. It is a fun way to stay in touch. It is also cheap if you have got an internet connection at home. The only problem is if the internet connection is too slow. Then the image or sound quality might not be very good. Talking face to face. Talking face to face is personal. When you are working on a project with someone at school, the best way to communicate is face to face. You will save time when you communicate well. And your project will be more successful. To talk face to face, you have to be in the same place as the other person. Making phone calls. When you are not in the same place as someone else, you can talk on the phone. It is a great way to talk to someone quickly. You will use the phone to call the police in an emergency. It is the fastest way to contact them. You might also phone someone to discuss something personal. Sending text messages. Nowadays, a lot of people send text messages to their friends and family. It is a fast and cheap way to communicate. You can't say many things in a text message. It is a great way to arrange to meet someone or to ask someone how they are. Using social networking. Social networking is very common these days. Teenagers use social networking sites because it is easy to keep in touch with lots of friends at once. Social networks are also the fastest way to share pictures and videos. Sending emails. Sending emails is another modern way to communicate. You can write a lot in an email, so it is good when you have got more things to discuss. 
It is a cheap way to get your message across and your emails are sent instantly. However, you might not get an answer straight away. The other person has to check their inbox before they see your message. People need an internet connection to read and write emails. So, it is not always possible to communicate in this way. Sending letters. Before emails existed, people sent letters to each other. Nowadays, this type of communication is less popular. Most people think letters are more personal than emails. However, you can write the same things in an email. When you write a letter, you have to put it in an envelope, stick a stamp on it and put it in a post box. Maybe this extra effort is why people think it is more personal. There is no right or wrong way to communicate. There are just a lot of ways to get your message across. Which ways do you like to communicate? Thank you for your attention. Match the statements 1 to 7 to the correct way of getting the message across A to G. The lesson is over. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.